Emerging Transportation by Francis Silva. Gaming in the classroom is used for students to base learning. Students use solution problems by exploring new ideas and trying to find a solution. When the students finish or complete the level, they are challenged to complete the next one. If they don't finish the level, then they need to continue the same level until they pass it. There are also digital games, which seems to be used more in the classroom now. Students get to use these games to achieve more knowledge. If they fail the level, they are given another opportunity to try again and improve their skills. Games in the classroom are a great way to have students want to go to school. Games would make it more interesting, and students need to be motivated in the classroom to learn new things. Games will help the students stay interested and learn as they play. Virtual work. Well, students communicate with others in, and instructors too. They can share ideas, places, photos, read, math, and even do activities. Most teachers use this for storytelling, which helps them have discussions with each other. The teachers could stop or pause or have the students ask questions or even discuss the story. This helps the students get a better understanding of the concept the teacher is teaching. Through these experiences, students can learn new languages and they are able to work on their own pace. They can view the contents over and over again. This is a way where they can explore real world class. Students are able to add activities and communicate with each other from all over the world. This allows teachers and students to share different contexts which is necessary for them. There are many students whose parents didn't know how to read. They were taught literacy through storytelling. Their parents were not raised with books in their home, and this is because of the status of living in homes where there were no books. Some students have the same status because of being raised in a home without enough money. They had no books at home either and this is why they had to listen to stories that the parents told. Lack of knowledge is not having the opportunity to look at the pictures of a good book. It is difficult for students to stay focused. With so much technology nowadays, the children are exposed to e-learning, where the students can click on the mouse of a computer and have literacy. What an opportunity to learn new things and a great experience. This helps students to be independent and seek new information solve problems, gather information on different cultures. Students will have the knowledge to read, write, speak, and be social with others on the computer. Students can use technology tools to enhance their learning to help with President Bush, No Child Left Behind. With this technology, the students have so much more to enhance in their learning on their own pace. The students need opportunities to use technology in their classroom to help make it more fun and students could get, want to go to school. Technology is becoming a part of our daily routine. For example, Facebook, Twitter, Tangle, FaceTime, and even Instagram are ways people are now using to keep in touch with others. Students who are exposed to technology at an early age will be ready to face the workplace without fear of trying new things. They will feel comfortable using and trying different types of technology which will be available to them Students will be able to go out into the world with the confidence of using technology in their future. This is because it makes it easy for them and because of technology experiences in school.